up, man? We at the uh, A3C Hip Hop Festival 2011. A3C Atlanta! I'm always checking for new artists. I do a radio show out here in Atlanta. For those y'all don't know, I do the Beats and Lyrics show. AJ came up with the idea, like, yo, man, we need to do a mixtape, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, whenever the A3C comes to Atlanta. So, I was like, that's a dope ass idea. I just don't have time to always, you know, coordinate everything. You know, I need like experts, people who are knowledgeable about how to, you know, put that together. But AJ being a producer, man, he kind of jumped right into it, man. We just made it work. We're trying to capture the feel of the event. So we want to do like a Woodstock type of thing, but we're not recording live while they're performing. We want to get them after they're done performing, before they're performing, like when that adrenaline is like, you know what I mean? So what you saying is that you've been waiting on me So it's only right I make my introduction of sorts A little something more So there can't be no more back and forth about Who's best, who's next Scared that right now I could give a fuck about imaginary crowns More concerned with rocking crowns Getting pounds and pence A lot of people were just like Man, if this is for J-Force I'm, I'm in. Playing my position. Power moving forward through the center of the session. Sticking on point. Aiming for perfection. So every bar is a calculated decision. The most unique element of it, I think, is that you only have 30 minutes to drop your verse and you got an instrumental that you've never heard before from some producer that is anonymous to you. Yeah, I like the way that beat ride, man. Got that, got that bounce to it. It just really makes the quality of the music um, dope because it, it feeds off the energy of the festival. One, two, three! <laughs> Lay to rest in a better glass, back scratch so bad. My mind might crash, my spine might pass through the flesh trap. More music, less fat, less rap. We run it like a barbershop, you know what I'm saying? People come in and they, they, uh, they select their beat. They get in line, they drop their verse, and then, you know, they, they go back out. But it's dope because, like, they'll be getting off stage at 3 and then tracking the verse at, you know, 3.45. We in Salem Psalms Library, yours truly, J-Force, man, with MC's extraordinaire, my man, head crack, you know what I'm saying? Senior Couch. The first one we did, I didn't think I was going to make the project. It was like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, ah, you know, Cats is about to go to sleep. I'm not even going to make the mixtape. It's the last night. I hit AJ. He hit me back like, yo, come through right now. Down on my last 20 money, funny, so I ain't shit. Smoking, mass off, mama about to blast off, killing your buzz, that's what a veteran does. Been a minute, so much mic since days of peach fuzz. I don't play with it, go all the way with it. Sword sharp, good aim, touche with it. Shady Cobain fitted, got them drums knocking. Flavor, flavor in the trap, you bitches keep clocking. Ironically, man, we're in Salem Storm studio, saying he came up with the idea about, man, we should do it on a mobile studio. That way we have to get all the DJ or artists to come to the studio, we could do it at the site. And it was actually AJ's idea from that too, man, because we started one like, you know, we might managed to get Unique Squared to partner with AJ's idea and partner with that and um, do the Beats and Lyrics to Go mixtape. The bus is literally like, you know, being at a major studio, you know, in New York. It's just like that, but it's on a bus. It's amazing, man. Like, I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Like, everything you could think of is done, and it's done like clean. You know what I mean? You go to studios and they look crazy, and it don't matter as long as the sound is right, but. It looks amazing in here, like everything is set up right. I don't know, it's just, it's kind of lost words type feeling when you're in here. Yeah. Metaphors turn to media, similes and spears, thrown them to pierce your ears with imagery. Dude, I would live in this bus. I don't need no bed. I need a bathroom. <laughs> I don't need no bed, no nothing. <laughs> Serious? Right. Shit, I'm still a fan, man. That's why, that's why I'm here checking cats out, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No I'm like, yo, you never know what could happen. I seen, I seen J-Lob when I woke up, I said, oh! Yo. Uh, and I begin typing words, lighting herbs of truth, keep my life preserving my... Body staying youthful, I'm the truth who proves nothing to none. Cause just my presence is like busting a gun, and when I'm the hustle is done, I leave my physical and become one with the sun. How you living, baby? Yeah, man. Who you living, man? D Lavish in the building. I'm finally D Lavish. I'm taking me a minute, but I'm here and camera ready. Best engineer in the world. I said it. 
hear that on the Beats and Lyrics mixtape. With not much effort, insignificant hecklers, no measure of my incline. The climb will crush, rotate a cuffs, rotating ain't enough to drink. What works in manifesting the esteem of steam? Perform angelic feasts, releasing one's richness. A witness screen, no pictures. Oh, but what vivid mixes the mistress for a case? Illustrious illustrations, you can't degrade. It ain't the song without the evidence. Come on. Come on. My role on the project is primarily the main DJ and you know oversee the cuts on it, oversee the arrangement of the cuts. You know, some songs we listen to, you know, they might need a little extra on there. The MCs do their job well, but sometimes you know we just want to add a little bit more flavor, so that's where I come in. You know, make it a little bit more of a, an experience for the listener. Come on. I swear. Yeah. You admit that that's finished? I need that in my inbox. Gotcha. You had a chorus you in mind already? Huh? You had a chorus in mind already? You got a Zephyr here? No. Hey. Lavish likes choruses. No, and, and my thing is this, like, we got DJs, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. last year, yeah, yeah, last year, yeah. that's what they did for that joint. That just came out hot. I'm sorry I keep forgetting to not be arrogant and honest. When I go in, it's a problem. Issue, your mom should have put you in a condom. Tissue versus get the spurs like a fucking shot. Stimulo? You're getting it. We used to have liner notes. Um... In, in CDs and like so that was like the big thing for us. Everybody wanted to crack their their CD open and, and look at the artwork and like read through who did what on the record and who was shouting out who on the record or whatever. That was like a big deal. You paid for the discs, you wanted that. Goldie Gold, Flux, Wonder, Mr. Soul, those three are the art directors uh, for the project and they basically went out and grabbed a bunch of artists that they work with and uh, together we're able to compile the artwork so that we would have the artwork for every single song. We had to reach out to get these artists to be in there and try to explain to them like, yo, this is something you should be down with. You know, we're trying to change the game of what we're doing. This is the first time we had an opportunity to really sit in the same room. Flux bring his computer, Goldie bring his camera to document us, and we actually work on, on concepts. We came up with the idea for the cover, which is a mural of five to six different art styles and artists. And it, it came from me being in AJ's lab. He got all these comic books on the wall. And I was like, dang, that would be hot to do some comic book style blend mural, a collection of variety of styles for uh, the different um, concepts of the song, so that's that's the direction we went with it. Sometimes I feel like I'm falling, the same time I feel like I'm soaring. Feel so confused like I'm poor, but I'm balling. Heart getting dark like the night, but it's morning. Rap was exciting, but now this is boring. Don't try to say to yourself like, yo, like what's it like to put together a record where you do blah, 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 blah. Because we're not taking like songs that were pre-recorded and putting them on an album. Like we're recording them during a finite amount of time of two or three days and then we're processing them afterwards. The adrenaline from the event is already going and then you got to try to bottle it and, and get it, you know, the anxiety of all that situation. Like this, you know, a lot of people at th this event, you know what I mean? So they're all coming, your peers are everywhere. There's like 300 artists there. So your peers are everywhere and you're rocking and it's fun and everything, but it's just a lot. And then you're not sleeping because you're staying up, you know, doing all the events and everything, man. And you got to channel all that energy into a track, like on a beat that you haven't heard until you came to the event in 30 minutes. And then, you know, that's, it takes a, it takes a warrior, man, to be able to do that. So, yeah. 
they go in. <laughs>